What's up, y'all? Welcome back to The Clutch. My name is John. If you haven't been here before, thank you for showing up. Uh, stay along for the ride and check us out. Maybe you'll enjoy what we're about. Do some family vlogging, a lot of snake stuff. So if that's what interests you, then uh, you definitely want to stick around. We're gonna start some of our pairings and update you on pairings that haven't gone from the 2020 year. Also, before we jump into this, uh, today is November 3rd. So get your ass out there and vote. As prior service, both me and my wife served our country so that you would have the opportunity to do so and have your voice heard. So it's a very big deal to us to see that people actually go out and cast their votes. All right, so let's let's get started on the updates right now. Um, so obviously the videos haven't been coming out as frequently. Actually, I shot one video probably three or four times and I just, I couldn't capture it the way I wanted to. So I ended up just scrapping all of the footage, which is horrible on my part. I should have at least put something together for you guys, but if I don't like the quality, I don't put it out. And that's that's one of my faults with doing YouTube. Um, but let's jump into this real quick. So as some of you may know, if you follow us on Instagram or Facebook, we took a long trip up to New England to go see my family and we came back and that yellow belly was actually in ovulation, which is freaking amazing. She's going into shed right now, which is her post ovulation shed. And here in about 30 days, we should be getting eggs from her. If you don't remember from our earlier videos, I'll post all of them up here, but um, in our earlier videos, we actually paired her to a clown so obviously we're gonna only have two options here we're either gonna have normals or we're gonna have yellow bellies but everything will be a hundred percent hit clown it was our mojave girl obviously big old mama uh i really think that she's gonna go i thought that i had seen an ovulation i may have been wrong we're continuing to watch, so we're just, we're gonna say that it's a possibility right now. The next girl that we know for sure is going, we saw an ovulation, or I didn't see the ovulation, but I can feel everything. She's actually wrapping into that little cinnamon shape, or cinnamon bun shape that everyone knows and loves right before the eggs come. And I saw her go really skinny, uh, she was really, Hefty, so I guess that may have been an ovulation, but it didn't seem like one to me because it felt like it was almost whole body for her instead of just the uh, abdominal area. So we're going to look at her real quick. We're going to talk about her and then we're going to start pairing for this next season. So that was our Super Pastel Pinstripe Girl. She was bred to an orange dream, so everything's gonna be pastel. And then we'll have hopefully some pastel pinstripes or lemon blast or some pastel orange dreams or some pasta, excuse me, some orange dream lemon blast, which is orange dream pastel pinstripe. I'm pretty freaking excited about it, so if you watched my first year that was the only pairing because that was my only girl that was two size that year and she didn't take so to see her going get ready to have eggs is just like freaking awesome for me because i finally feel accomplished um and i am kind of considering i toyed with the idea of doing a maternal incubation i'm not sure if i'm going to yet or not go down in the comments below let me know if you would do a maternal incubation or if you would just Put it in the incubator so if you might be interested in any of those babies make sure you hit us up because they're gonna go pretty fast i'm only keeping one back from each clutch that we have 
if all the girls I think are gravid actually end up being gravid. This coming season, 2021, and it, like I said, if you watch the previous, I am going to repeat a couple of pairings just because I feel like it's relevant and it's going towards what I'm really focused on. So I want to repeat those pairings and hopefully actually get the output that I want this year. So I learned a trick and uh, it's not necessarily a trick, but I learned um, that if you take the male and you get rid of the old sperm that's there, they are uh, more likely to leave viable sperm. So you just want to kind of act like you're going to pop them. And just make sure that there's no old sperm in the way. And I'll wipe it free. Make sure everything is nice and clean. And this is our normal GHI girl. So last year we paired these two and they didn't go. So we're gonna give them one more season to try it. Uh, if not, I'm gonna have to pair another clown to her and hopefully we'll get them to go. Did you hear that? Was that a fart? That was a snake fart. So we're gonna go through that process again of cleaning the male and pairing him with the female, but we're gonna do it with my pastel lesser GHI this time. And that one is going to go to our mature clown male and hopefully this year we will get them to go. I would appreciate it. Would you appreciate it? Don't poop on me. So like I said, you want to go through... Mmm, pee. Yeah, wrap it in there. Yeah. And you want to push those old sperm out of the way. It's kind of gross if you think about it. It's kind of like I just jerked a snake off. It cleans the ducts for him to do what needs to be done, so... Obviously, the girls that are gravid or potentially gravid, I'm gonna let them have this time off. We're gonna give them time to recuperate and possibly even give them a year off. The other girl that I'm looking at pairing this year, if she hits size, well, there's a couple. There's actually three that I'm looking at, but the one that's I'm pretty sure is gonna be there will be our pied female. So the other two girls that I really want to pair this year, if they make it to size, are our Bamboo Blitz and one of our Pastel GHI girls. Um, they will be going to Clowns as well, just to play into the Clown GHI combos that I am hoping to produce. If you don't know this about me, I'm crazy about Clown and I'm crazy about GHI and I'll, I want to focus solely on that combo with adding other genes into it, obviously, but um, really GHI clowns, uh, GHI clown pides, stuff like that, eventually down the road, but really wanna focus on GHI clowns right now. So that's kinda what our year's looking like, or it's starting out as. Uh, we'll do an update here on Thursday, let you know if we found locks or anything, obviously. 
Uh, we will be picking up two snakes tomorrow, possibly three, uh, depending on when the third gets shipped out. Well, I guess today, because the snakes were sent on Monday, so obviously it would show up on Tuesday, which is when you're watching this. So we'll have two, possibly three snakes today. And then tomorrow on Wednesday, we'll have Anthony from Granddaddy Herps on for a live interview. Thursday, you will have the update on whether we're getting locks and if we're progressing or not. And then Friday, you're gonna see Ryan Sullivan from the Ivory Connection live on this channel. I don't think he's been interviewed in over a year. So to get his input and as a retic guy and you guys seeing me get deeper and deeper into the retic rabbit hole, uh, I think it'd just be really good to see his perspective on the market and exactly how things are going right now. Sunday on the Deadly Tarantula Girl channel, we will be broadcasting our first interview for the podcast. And that's Danny from the UK. I forget his last name, but for the Beauty Beast and the Beard Reptile podcast, that'll be over on Deadly Tarantula Girl's channel. We're getting ready to start up our own channel for it and get all that moved over, but we wanna start bringing people in first and making sure that they understand this is really happening, this is a thing. So you're gonna be seeing a lot of my face this week. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> um, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you give us a thumbs up if you enjoy this video. Click that subscribe button if you haven't already. Click the bell right next to it and select all so that you get updated every time we put out a video. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Remember, 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 it's election day. Go vote. Y'all stay blessed.